Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my Tenet Pack Minecraft Let's Play. In the last episode, we decided to finish the series and to start on Technic 7, seeing as it's been out for a while, even though it's still not fully completed, I think that I'm going to give it a go and start on it. So this episode, I thought, and seeing as I have the portal gun, I would just come back here quickly and make the red matter items that I talked about last episode, and I have a massively full inventory. Uh, it wouldn't really make sense to defeat the dragon, then come back and do the uh, do the tasks. So I'll just dump everything here because I don't care anymore. It's not going to matter. Uh, CLD. And uh, take out this dark oops, dark matter. And the first thing I'm going to make is the red morning star. And to do to do there to do this. I need to make a, as well as the pickaxe and the shovel, I need to make a hammer, which is this, no, uh, let's check the recipe, red morning star, red matter hammer, dark matter hammer, oh, that's a bit cheaper than I was expecting, this is good. So we have our three components. And is it this? God, I'm so bad at recipes. Nope. Of course, I need to red matter refine them. Because that's the word, right? Uh, and I don't have any red matter on me. Duh. One of these days, I'll be able to think properly. When, are the, when that day is, I will have, I have no idea. But I'll get there eventually. So, turn off faithful dark matter pickaxe. Oh. Pickaxe into a red matter pickaxe. Um, the added feature of this is that the right click ability works, I think, so you can carve out different squares and it mines a bit faster. Um, so yeah, do a demonstration. Ooh, don't, yeah, there we go. Um, three wide. Um, don't think this makes any do oh, it didn't charge up, duh. Right click, no. Yeah, I think it mines a little bit faster, but anyway, that's not the main point. Uh, so let's turn this into red matter, or a red matter shovel, nope. Red matter shovel, and the dark matter hammer, which actually I will demonstrate quickly. I wish it wouldn't lag so much, but uh, this is pretty handy. Uh, uh, normal impact is like a pickaxe, but mega impact. Ah, uh, three by three. This makes mining a lot more, a lot faster, and uh, is what the red morning star is all about. Can it harvest? Whoa! That's where the digging out the floor comes from. Good to know. Right. Don't know what the special ability on the red matter pickaxe is though, but never mind. I think it's just a faster dark matter pickaxe, I assume. And can itself mine red matter blocks. And now we... Uh, no. We turn this into a red matter hammer. And I'm doing it wrong again, aren't I? Oh, there we go. Red Matter Hammer. Now we can finally do this. Ha! Red Morning Star. Let's charge this up. Go through our portal. And this will still have the same effect as the Red Matter Pickaxe and Dark Matter Pickaxe, but will also have the effect of the hammer, like so. I right click and devastation occurs. This is, was it 9x9? Nine nine? Yeah, I think. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yep, 9x9 nine nine square. Um, Die Wolf's favourite tool. And, uh, yep, it has the different modes as the Dark Matter and Red Matter pickaxe has. But as it has the Red Matter hammer, it also has 
there we go, mega impact mode, which is really fast mining. And you can just like carve, you can sprint, and it should, no, no, oh, it doesn't multiplayer. Yeah, there we go. I'm now sprinting. Let's see, no, boost is a bit too fast. But yeah, um, it's pretty cool, eh? So, that's checked off our list, and pretty much only one other item I wanted to make. And that is an advanced, well, I say advanced, it is a very, very, very high level climb style. So let's make that. Uh, let's clear our inventory a bit. Oops, don't want to burn that. Do this instead. We're going to be able to click on it and not lag. There we go. Another climb star, climb star, climb star. And combine these, <coughs> excuse me, to make a client star dry, which is the German for three. Now we've learned that, we can make another one. Burn lots more dark matter. Wow, that's a lot of dark matter. Make some more. And client star Veer, which is the German for four. Make one of those. Oops. Stop it. One of those, and one of those. <sighs> We're nearly there, I promise. Climb Star Sphere. <laughs> and there is indeed another level which will require a bit more good stuff. And I cannot believe it, we are out of... We c are we actually out of resources? Huh. Wow. Um. Oh, good. Phew. So burn that, make another Clan Star Sphere, and we have the final stage, which is, if I can click properly, the Clan Star Omega, and this can store something like, something ridiculous, like 50 million EMC. Yeah, it's, uh, it is utter madness. And this has a few uses in itself. Uh... Oh wow, you can... Hmm. Anyway, that's not what I was looking for. Uh, this is what I was looking for. The Infernal Armour and the Abyss Helmet. The Abyss Helmet unfortunately consumes the entire Klein Star Omega. So it is very expensive. So actually I'm going to... And you need it to be fully charged. And I ran out of resources now. Well, enough resources. So I won't be making this... Um, the... Uh, Abyss Helmet, this series, but what it does is lets you fire lightning bolts, which is actually what I was thinking of defeating the Ender Dragon with, but there's no way I could get enough resources um, that quickly, I think, maybe. Hmm. Let's experiment. Yeah, this is not making much of an impact. Do I take out the uh, tungsten? I did indeed, yeah. So unfortunately, uh, unless I dragged out the series a bit longer, we'd, uh, not we're not going to be able to make it, but uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much what I wanted to do. And uh, actually, another quick demonstration, so if we go into the nether, this is actually, this tool is actually really wonderful for mining out nether rock and a nether rack and the ores because uh, nether rack just melts under this tool so let's uh well that's where the spawner ended up that's good to know so I get away from all the creepy crawlies Oop. as you can see I did do a bit of mining down here previously so let's yeah look at that it melts Looks like butter. Whee! So, um, let's land here for now. Yeah, there we go. 
Can I boost? No. Sprinting is just about as. Oh, I miss them all. So yeah, um, that's that for now. Where's the portal go? Over there. So let's go ahead and finish the series. Um, yeah, so apologies about the sporadic nature of this episode. I just wanted to get my checklist done. So I made the Kleinstar Omega, which is the top tier level of Kleinstars, and the Red Morning Star Pickaxe slash Death Stick of Destruction, and we whoop, we ended up in our annoying place again, being attacked by scorpions. Now I'm running. Go away. I don't want to fight you. So we'll just uh, head on home. And into this portal. Zing. Oh, and a bit of lag. There we go. So, let's do this. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This will be the final battle of the Technic 6 series. Let's go. Woohoo! Entering the end. And what will we find in the end? I hear you scream. Or ask, you know in a calm, collected manner. Uh, let's double check. Yeah, we've got loads of EMC now. Let's bridge this gap. We find a lot of Endermen. And the Ender Dragon has come to say hello and knock me off the edge. Wow, I was not expecting that. Um, we could do this vanilla, but... Uh, why? Why bother? We have Technic 6 installed. Let's do this the Technic 6 way. <laughs> no, it doesn't target. Okay, never mind. So what these are, like, these spheres, as you could see before, were shooting off into the Ender Dragon and they healed it. So we need to destroy them. Just making sure I'm not going to die from exploding myself. And yeah, as you can see as well, every time you destroy one of these crystals, the boss health goes down. So he then flies off to the next one to uh, replenish his health. And so that's why we're flying around destroying them. And I thought we'd do something a bit more... Just, let's see. Yeah, because I need to sort Do something a bit more innovative than just um, using a bow or the... Uh, or the um, Archangel Smite is to uh, engage in melee combat with the Ender Dragon. I thought that would be quite funny. And uh, yeah, just get up close and personal with him. Oh, just realised the mini map. That's pretty cool. Shows where all the uh, the fighting spheres are. Um, but the handy thing about these is that they don't respawn, as far as I know. So, all you have to do is destroy them once, and they're gone forever. And this should be the last one. Yep, let's do this. See if I can knock back the Ender Dragon. That'd be funny. He's a bit too fast for me at the moment. But, uh, I am patient. He'll come to me eventually. Ah! Oh, wow, he can knock him back. That's hilarious. So as we could, like, do this. But, uh, I don't want to do that. I want to melee him. Because it's funny. And he seems to be very confused and doesn't want to attack me because he doesn't know that I'm flying. Um, what does he? Oh, I think he does. Yep, he does. Um, let's do this on the ground. Like now. And be attacked by the Enderman, and, uh, Enderman as well. To make it a bit more challenging. Where'd he go? Collect a few ender pearls. Yeah, why not? Oh, I saw the ender dragon wing then. Dragon. 
have a day. <laughs> uh, no, I missed my chance. If I could boost jump up to like, it's too high. How do you, how do you... Come on, Mr. Dragon, charge with me. <laughs> oh, stop, stop, stop. That was fun. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go back and fly. Quite a nice place this end. Yeah, nice and clean. Shame about the Enderman, but don't mind. Back here. If any of you know a, a really interesting, like, industrial craft two method, excuse me. Um, if any of you know an indust, um, if any of you know a, an exciting industrial craft two method of killing this dragon, then please let me know, and I'll try and maybe make another video about it. Just like uh, innovative ways of killing the dragon. Aside from just hitting it with a bow or flying around with a sword. Come on, attack me. Then, uh, yeah, let me know, because I'm just wondering if there are methods like you could make a Rube Goldberg machine to uh, destroy this dragon with laser sensors or something. That'd be pretty funny. Hmm. Yeah, I know I said I wouldn't do it, but uh makes a makes a difference. <laughs> Good little volley of arrows following him. Poor Ender Dragon. So many arrows. Oh. Okay, one last hit. Come on. Oh. Come on. We can do this. You can take on the end dragon with a sword and win. a little bit with the sword, but uh, they're annoying me. Oh, wow. I go high level, wheel. Eighty-seven. Can we, can we get any more? Maybe. Anything over here? No. It's in the uh, ticket server. I got up to level one hundred and two. I think it was. It's quite crazy. Oh. You knocked me off my course. How dare you? Now I have several of several you after me. You want some of this? Okay, anyway. 
Yep. Apparently you can mine this egg, but uh, I've yet to see it work. The egg just teleports around. I don't know. I don't really know what to do with it. Um, so uh, I might just leave it. <laughs> uh, don't even know where it is now. Oh, did I accidentally destroy it? I might have done. Oh no, there it is. Along with a lot of experience. Hooray! Apparently you're supposed to like destroy this block. Oop. No. Hmm. Uh, well, anyway. Let's finish it. Da -da -da. Achievement get the end. And uh, here we go. Minecraft credits. Um, well, these credits are a bit uh, obsolete, shall we say. So I'll just do that. Hmm. There we go. We have defeated the Ender Dragon <clears throat> successfully using a combination of vanilla and um, technique pack magic. As I think it should be. I think. Uh, Using purely flying around and using the Archangel Smite would have been a bit boring. Um, and a bit unfair, but I destroyed him with a combination of the sword and the Archangel Smite. And I'm a level 104. Excellent. Uh, let's see. Let's see what we can get. Um, let's dump some of this stuff off. And get. Oh yeah, got rid of all my diamonds. <laughs> diamonds. And I shall need some sticks. Let's see what awesome enchantments we can get. Oh, first having to make it. Um, yeah, let's make a sword. Hmm. It's the only way to get like level 100 enchantments. Uh, maybe making some more bookcases. That would make sense, right? Um, where did I put them? Where's a book? Um, yeah, let's do it this way. And then some wood. Let's make a few more bookcases. And uh, flesh this out a bit. See if this does any makes any difference. No, not really. Still in the tens or twenties. Well, there's one thirty just then. Um, let's see if we made a diamond chest plate. What well, the enchantments would be then. Protection 2. Nah. Not get to be all shiny and glistening though. It's pretty cool. <coughs> so, there we go. We have defeated the Ender Dragon. We have finally, just rapidly at the end, ticked off our checklist for what we wanted to build for this series. And we have accomplished a lot. We have conquered two pirate ships, even though both of them were a bit buggy, which is a bit of a shame. Um, kind of got a bit into Viz, but it's meh. It's not very good for Tactic 6. Um, quite a bit of equipment exchange magic going on. And we built our infinite power supply over there and a quarry over there, which sadly we'll never know 
how to finish because I will end the episode before I get the chance to. Um, no idea what that is. Still don't know what it is. But in Thorn, in Thumbcraft two for uh, Technic seven, it's a bit better and a bit more straightforward. So this is Le Squatch, and that is actually the first time I've ever ever said my name in a video. I think. Signing off for the end of Technic six. Thank you very, very much for watching. If you liked it, then please leave a comment or like the video and tell me what you liked about it and whether or not I should revisit Technic 6 from time to time to play around with it and what you would like to see in Technic 7. Definitely be using a bit more of this portal wizardry in uh, Technic 7. Didn't use it at all to its full potential in Technic 6, unfortunately, because uh, I don't know, just, just ran out of time really. Um, Technic 7 is still in beta format, I would call it, or not finished format. Well, I'm going to go and kill you. Mr. Diamond Man. So, yep, thank you once again for watching, and I shall see you in the next series.